Yo, 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 welcome back uh, to another episode of Film Sessions. And today uh, we're going to start looking at uh, the offensive tackles, uh, offensive linemen in general, excuse me. Um, but first up, we're going to take a look at uh, Greg Little uh, out of Ole Miss. We uh, just took a look at this film. If you're following in sequential order, uh, we just took a look at Deontay Thompson um, and we're looking at this same game. Um, this and obviously I picked I'm only going to do because offensive linemen have a lot of film. I'm only going to do one game and I'm picking the game that I think has is going to give them the toughest challenge. I want to see them in their worst at their worst and uh and i according to the draft network this alabama game was his worst film so i want to see him at his worst to be honest i want to see him go up against the best because in the nfl that's what you're going to see every week okay so i want to make sure that i get him um no not i don't want to see him i want to see him uh show flashes and 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 uh and not just look completely overwhelmed in this game so that's that's kind of what i'm looking for um again he's an offensive tackle uh, he's number 74. He's six foot five, 325 pounds. He's got good outside, a good size, and uh, projects as a, a left tackle. Um, but we'll see. Um, you know, most offensive linemen when they come out, they start at at right tackle or inside. They start at, at a guard just to get themselves acquainted to the NFL. Um, so it just depends where he goes. Um, but you know, let's just jump into the film. Um, again, it's it's kind of difficult. I'm not, and I'm gonna be. Let me preface this by saying I'm not like an offensive lineman genius. Like I don't, I look at it and I, I can kind of look at the footwork. Um, I want to see how he uses his hands. Um, but I'm no genius. Okay, I'm I'm a layman when it comes to this, uh, especially in the inside and off with the offensive lineman. It's tough for me to assess it. So I'm just gonna go off what I see. Okay, all right. So let's just uh, let's let's get into this. Um, one, I'm only going to do one game because they're, 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 the film is kind of long uh, for offensive li linemen. I don't want to hold you too, hold you too long. So, all right, let's get into it. So he's number 74. He's a, a, a large human being. Pause. Um, but this is that first play again where Deontay Thompson got burnt, um, by the way. A little got help from the tight end. Um, but he was blocking... Uh, think no that wasn't Quinn oh come on now oh there we go all right we don't have to see this 17 times Metcalf with the nice footwork number one wide receiver right there a lot of talent in this he won't so he's not gonna see Quinn oh he, he is blocking Quinn right there so it looks like uh, Ole Miss is playing they want they're getting help from the tight end right from this tight end number four this tight end right here, right here, they're getting help from him um, to chip off of uh, number 99. I forgot his name. But they're doing a good job, like, early in this game. They're doing a good job handling that front. Nice. Ah, that's the that's the running back's responsibility right there. I feel like I'm watching. I've seen this game like 13 times. Nice. This this. This, this offensive line is for you for my real nice pull. Uh, I want to see him balance. I want to see him lead a little bit better there. But this this offensive line isn't for the faint of heart. Like you got to be a real football fan to watch this offensive lineman tape because this it, it could get real monotonous. So bear with me uh, for my layman's out there. You might learn something. And for my my heavy hitters, I appreciate y'all because uh, it could be a, a bit dry. Um, Watching offensive linemen, it's, it's not exactly fun to watch. He's, unless somebody getting pancaked, and that's not happening in this game. I don't expect it to. Not not versus Bam. Nice. He got low right there. Nice. That was a really nice block right there. I wish we could run that one back. That was a really nice block. He got his leverage was crazy. 
He got he got real low. He leaves himself susceptible though to a uh, to a like a pull and rip because he had his entire weight. He had his entire weight up against the guy. Um, and uh, ooh, yeah, seen that. That's Deontay's fumble uh, force. If I get a guy leaning like that on me, I'm just gonna use my quickness. So you gotta be careful with that. Nice pull. And one one thing I also read on Draft Network is it, it's that, is that his motor isn't quite isn't quite there. Uh, something that he needs to work on. Deontay not not effing around. I didn't even see that in the film. I missed that one. I must have missed that one. Yeah, I mean, he's... The dude didn't, ain't using no pass rush moves. He's just sitting there playing patty cake with him. Yeah, like, he when he blocked number 49, number 49 is not doing anything. Like, he's just kind of, eh, let's just... Let's just chill. Nice. Yeah, he definitely held him. He tackled him, bruh. He tackled Quinnen. Quinnen is a beast. I'd tackle him, too. Oh, he threw up the shard. That's disrespectful. Yeah, I, I'm not seeing him give up any sacks or anything like that in this game. That's a positive. Hey, switch, switch the angle on me. I couldn't. Got to catch back up. All right. That's hands to the face. Yeah, like they're not, they're not even like trying to rush this dude. Yeah, he's completely eliminating the, the pass rush. Like, there's no, like, his whole blind side is completely protected. Like, there's nobody coming off this edge, which is impressive, actually. Yeah. Like, it's, it's it, the pressure is not coming from the left side. The pressure is coming from up the middle and, and on the right. See, the pressure is coming up the middle. It's, it's not coming from the, from the right side, which is something I wasn't watching, looking for in this game. A quarterback, the last thing a quarterback wants to see is somebody coming right at him. That's why that guard play is very important. And we got two very good, as, as a Panthers fan, um, we got two pretty solid guards. We need to get younger at tackle. Yeah, he is obliterate his guy like the guy is is not oh okay he got swimmed right there and he's just kind of standing there uh like bro get back in the game fam like you got to get back in it find somebody to hit my man swam on him something vicious too Ooh, he got pancake. Reverse pancake. Jeez. Watch this reverse pancake. Mmm. Wow. It's not good. Never want to see a left tackle on his back. We we're too used to seeing that in Carolina already. Nice. That's a nice block. Dang, quarterback fell right there. That's a nice block. He gave up a little pressure, but 
for the most part, he held him off. Nice hands. Now he's got good balance. He's got good balance. Yeah, he's 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 keeping his man at bay, man. His man ain't really. He's giving up a, a few, couple. I count. On, I say two bad plays so far. He got pancaked and the swim move. Um, those are the only two bad plays I can recall off the top of my head so far. Nice. Yeah, I like to play to, uh, play to the whistle. Even though he's, he's nowhere near to play, keep playing to the whistle. Ooh, we pick six. House call. Yeah, nice, nice block on Quinn. Mm. That collective side was kind of vicious. They all was like, damn. Mm. Nice. They got some of the young bulls in. Ah, okay, stay with it. Stay with it. You're going to have a mobile quarterback in Cam if we draft you, so you're going to be all right there. But you get any statues back there? Mm -mm. One thing I noticed, he's kind of leaning into his blocks. I, he he definitely opens himself up to some vicious swim moves or because he's leaning into his block. like He's putting all of his weight just falling into a guy. And... Uh, he definitely could be susceptible to some nice pass pass uh uh pass rush moves. Like a spin move or something like that, where you just left saying which way did he go? Which way did he go, George? I think he's a much better pass blocker than he is a run blocker. I know it's hard to kind of quantify that, but see how he's all the way over. Like, he's kind of just wherever. Like, he, I don't know. There we go. There we go. It's a nice block. Mm, his pull was slow. That was a <laughs> nice tactic by the, by the lineman, though. The D lineman just knocked him down. Said, uh-uh, your pull game is trash. Pause. Okay, I don't even see him out there in the game right now. Yeah, because this is technically Alabama's offensive line versus. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Well, I'll let y'all enjoy this last few seconds. Because it's about to stop in a second. But. Here we, here we go. So I'm just going to give you all my synopsis. synopsis. Um, as a Panthers fan, yes, we do need to address the offensive line, uh, especially the, the left tackle. Uh, we, there's a couple moves that can be made for us to protect ourselves in the short term. But long term, we do need somebody. Um, I'm just not so certain I would want to spend a first round pick on a, a project um, that's not going to be immediately utilized, if that makes sense. Um, because... Like I said earlier, uh, most uh, guys that play left tackle in college don't start out playing left tackle in the NFL. There's a few that do, but it's very rare. Most start playing right tackle or they play inside to get used to the game. And then they eventually, after like three or four years, 
they they end up playing uh they move out to left tackle it takes some time for that left tackle position is very difficult to play in the nfl so um i'm not so certain that i would i be mad no because i think in a few years when he's needed like let's say we draft a, a greg little at 16 and uh and we well, let's say we start him playing uh, uh left guard um let's let's say let's start him playing left guard and then he ends up sliding out to left tackle after year two or year three i wouldn't be mad at that i wouldn't be completely mad about that um but but, but we need uh one we need a left tackle to play in the near in the next two years i would prefer next year just depends what we do with daryl williams and and others uh and chris if we resign chris clark um i don't know but i would not be mad if we drafted him uh, but he needs work for sure he's he's not a plug greg little is not a plug and play guy in my opinion He's not a plug-and-play left tackle dude. It's not happening, okay? He's got a lot to work on. Uh, just accor- according to the Draft Network, you read their read their summary. Um, he he he's got a motor. According to them, he's got a motor issue, um, and I ain't got time for that. So um, that being said, I'm gonna let y'all do y'all research. Y'all come up to uh, come up with your own um, opinion, and uh, and we'll go from there. Like I said, like, subscribe, meet me in the comments. Peace out.